families. What do they want? What have they been saying to you? Well, Colette, it was a very emotional demonstration here this morning as many parents spoke about the struggles and challenges they face in terms of uh, trying to bring up their children with little or no support from those services. We heard today that 85% uh, of children in the system wait a year or more to access disability services. And as they parents, uh, many of them shedding tears and crying as they told their own personal stories here this morning. They say that every day we watch our children regress. They say we watch them miss out on school places. They sit in pain in equipment that is too small or unsuitable. We watch them disappear, they say, from their communities and their families wait a lifetime for help and a lifeline that they're consistently told is coming. And Colette, what's really interesting about today's demonstration, first of all, a huge turnout. Um, you know, we cover many demonstrations here, but a massive turnout here today. Uh, the rain bucketing down, it didn't dissuade people from coming here, and that will tell you how passionate they are about this. What's also really interesting, Colette, is that uh, at Virgin Media News, we've interviewed a lot of these families, and I noted that this morning, that a lot of these families we've spoken to in the last three, four, even five years, and they're still here today, still fighting for those services and still getting no help. Let's take a listen to them. Nothing's changed. Um, I think COVID really highlighted, you know, the, it wasn't even the impact of COVID that we lost services. It really just showed how bad things are anyway. I didn't feel the difference in the two years of COVID with the restrictions because um, really we're very limited in what we get. Our main message is to take action now because parents are tired. Parents don't want to be standing out here in the lashings of rain, holding up banners and shouting. You know, it's a, it's a big fight and people are tired and today is the day where we call it a crisis. Well, it actually looks like uh, taking people, particularly those families that are living with disability in their lives, out of poverty. We saw during the, the pandemic how uh, the state decided that €350 Euro was the minimum that was needed to survive in Ireland, but carers are on €219 Euro a week, uh, those with disabilities are on €204 Euro a week. It's, uh, it's just state-sponsored poverty. McLeod, it is that unspoken cost, of course, of uh, having a dis disability and living with a disability or raising a child in those circumstances. Uh, we heard this morning people taking out personal loans uh, to fund uh, services and support for their children. Many cases, they cannot afford to do this. They're saying we demand action for families of children and young adults with complex needs, facing difficulties, accessing vital equipment and respite. Colette, these are basic needs that these people need on a day-to-day -day basis for their children. They say we do not believe that there is any possible justification for families needing to create fundraisers or take out loans for equipment that their children need to simply exist. So they're calling on the government to act now and act fast. Sarah King at Leinster House, thank you for that.